what do we do at the beginning of a work segment? Uh, we sit down to work and what happens? Now, besides doing an energy reboot, which I always recommend, uh, look up energy reboot on Google if you don't know what that is, um, find my video on that. Besides that, what else do we do? Uh, how do we prioritize, et cetera? And I have come up with this simple framework that I'm going to share with you. Actually, this is the first time I'm sharing it and see if it relevant, it, you know, resonates with you and feel free to customize it or if you have any other questions or ideas, you can comment below. So I'll bring it up on screen here. Uh, it spells plan. <laughs> so at the beginning of a work segment, whether it's an hour, half an hour, or you know, two hours or whatever, I prioritize what I'm working on in this hour. And you might say, well, how the heck do you prioritize? Well, we have a, I have another acronym for you after this. But first we prioritize, okay? Like, okay, this is what I'm gonna be doing during this hour, during this half hour, whatever, however long the work segment is. And second thing is um, length per task. So you, you, let's say you're sitting down to work for an hour and you say, okay, I'm, I've, I'm prioritized now with doing these three tasks in this hour. Well, then the question is, do you, do you have a sense of how long each task is going to take or how long, how long you will give each task? I have another video, which I will link below this one, uh, remind me if I don't, uh, about my guidance on how do you know how long to spend on a task? Okay, so that's another video, but you, you know, quickly write down. So for example, let's say, let's say in this hour, um, let's say this hour I'm going to be doing three tasks, um, task A, task B, task C. Now let's, let's do uh, how much, how many minutes? Let's say I'm gonna spend, 15 minutes on task A, I'm gonna spend uh, 30 minutes on task B and I'll spend 15 minutes on task C, something like that. So length per task. This way you can be more conscious to say, okay, well, I'm starting the, I'm starting my work segment now at four o'clock. It's now, you know, 4.05. And so I'm gonna spend 15 minutes on task A. So about 4.20, I'm gonna start noticing or if you use timers, I use timers all the time during my work segments. I'll just start a timer for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, et cetera. So, Using timers is really useful when you when you have approximate length of time you want to spend on, on a particular task. And then the next thing is to activate your hat manual or uh, checklist slash workflow process document, right? So a hat manual represents, you know, in your work, you wear multiple hats, right? Uh, you know, for me, I wear a content creator hat. And then if I'm doing my bookkeeping, it's my bookkeeper's hat. If I'm preparing for a client's my client prep hat, we wear multiple hats in our work. And do you have a checklist or a workflow document, a process that is clear to you what to do with that task? I have a, a, a hat manual. Hat manual doesn't have to be a thick volume. It could just simply be a simple Google document like this with three bullet points. That can be a hat manual. But it's something you can quickly pull up to say, ah, this is what I'm doing when I do task A. Now, obviously it's the first time you've done task A, then you have to start to write out a hat manual so that next time you do task A, you can easily, uh, without having to think so much, oh, how do I do this? So activate your hat manual. And then finally, the last thing to do uh, during your work segment is, uh, chances are a lot of times you don't finish these tasks. You've, you've allotted some time. And of course, it's probably wise not to allot the, if you have an hour to work, you probably shouldn't allot the full hour, you know, to this. So maybe give yourself like 10 minutes at the end, right? Um, let's say, let's say something like this. All right. The 10 minutes at the end should be to plan, right? To, to, to plan for the next opportunity when you are working on the things that you didn't finish. Because the trap is to say, let me just keep going until I finish. This is the road to burnout. This is the road to not taking care of your health, uh, the road to fixation and to rabbit holes and just lack of self-care, lack of conscious living and, 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 and the joyful productivity, right? The road to joyful productivity is to boundary yourself. The most important person to create boundaries with is not other people, it's with yourself. And so that's why it's like at the end of your work hour, you should say, well, when is my next opportunity? Because I feel like I want to work more on task A, for example. Maybe I did pretty good on task B or C, or maybe I had to plan time for all three of these things. But it's like, when is my next opportunity? 
to, to, to work on whatever I didn't finish. Because if you give yourself that opportunity to plan forward, then you can rest assured, literally, that um, you don't have to keep going until you're done, quote unquote, because we're, you know, that that just eats into your next planned hour. And this is how you can't follow your calendar. This is why you toss your calendar out the window, because you haven't learned how to create boundary, uh, healthy boundaries with yourself, which is what we're trying to do right now with, with this. So this is uh, this is spells out plan and um, you can give it a try and let me know if this uh, if this helps. Now, the, the natural question is, George, how the heck do we prioritize? Now, I've got, I've got another acronym for you. DIVE. <laughs> DIVE, D-I-V-E. Let me put this on a separate page so we can look at this together. Um, the, the, how do you prioritize all the things that you want to do? Let's say you sit down. Generally, if you uh, follow my content and follow my Joyful Productivity, particularly if you take my Joyful Productivity course, we talk about CCC, Capture, Categorize, Calendar. Ideally, in each time segment, you've already defined what the category is, but whatever. I'm not going to assume that you've taken the course. I'm just going to say, well, how do you prioritize when you sit down to work? Okay, this is how I recommend doing it. The first question is, are there any deliverables that's feeling uh, like you have to work on this because it's the a deliverable is something you're delivering to somebody else. For example, doing your taxes is a deliverable to the government. Uh, working on your client, preparing your client meeting is a, essentially a deliverable for your client because you're going to meet with them. You, you need to prepare, for example. Um, or uh, yeah, so generally it's like you're delivering usually to a client or to the government or to a business partner or to a coworker or or, 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 you know, or some other organization or whatever. So is there a deliverable you need to work on that has a due date that's coming up that you need to basically uh, work on, you know, as soon as possible? That is obviously should be prioritized above other things because so there's expectation of you, uh, maybe a penalty if you don't do it, okay? Um, the next question, though, is if you do have a deliverable, okay, or, or, or you know, let's say you, you have a deliverable, then you need to look at the increments of that project, meaning, okay, let's say we're doing taxes, okay? I have a deliverable to the government, uh, finish my taxes. Okay, fine. Then what are the increments of this project? Um, so for example, uh, before I deliver the taxes, I basically have to deliver some documents to my accountant, right? So therefore my deliverable really, you know, the increment is the increment before delivering to the government that's the final increment. The increment before that is to uh, really before that is my accountant brings sends the report back to me and I, the filing back to me and I have to look at the filing to make sure it's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of incrementing back from the end goal of the final delivery. What do I need to do before then, before then, before then, before then, before then? And then maybe my current increment, my current thing that I'm doing right now is put together a document for accountant. And maybe there's even a smaller increment. And maybe the smaller increment is to uh, confirm that I have categorized my transactions for the past year. Do you see what I mean? So, so that's why uh, the increments are important because right now when you're sitting down to work, if you think, if you think in your mind, oh, do taxes, you're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to go eat some ice cream and forget about taxes, right? That's impossible. Do taxes? What, what the hell does that mean? No, no, no. It, do taxes is a bunch of little tasks. That's what I mean by increments. It's a bunch of little tasks that when you finally write that out, go, oh, my current task is to, is to uh, uh, categorize my transactions from the past year. And that might even be too large of an increment. Maybe right now what's calming to you, what's doable to you is to, is to categorize transactions from the past month. Maybe you're backlogged for the whole year, but you can only just do one month or you could just do one week, right? That's very doable increment for you right now. So that's what we're going to work on at the, for this hour, for example, right? So increment. Now, if you if you already have the deliverables and the increments of those deliverables, if you already have those scheduled, you're like, oh, George, I'm not right now. I'm sitting down to work, and I'm not. I don't need to work on deliverables or the increments of them right now. Fine. Then the next thing, the next question I have for you is, what is the vision you have for your life and your work? All right. What is um, what projects or tasks, therefore, are aligned most to your vision? For your life slash work 
that you can work on right now? Because let's say right now you've, you've already got the tax time all scheduled for the future. You've got your client preparation time all scheduled for the future. You're sitting down, you prioritize, you have so many things you want to do. Well, what's the vision for your life and work, right? And maybe what's the vision for a specific area of your life or work that you want to play with right now? And therefore, what is the most aligned task or project that helps you fulfill your vision? And if you uh, still need some more help to prioritize, it's a George, I, I have, I have a vision. And you ask me this question, I have like 25 tasks that are aligned to my vision for my life slash work, then let me help you out further. The last letter is well, what energizes you the most out of these 25 tasks that are aligned with your vision? What is the prioritize those 25 tasks into what energizes you the most? What are you most excited by most uh, motivated? to do right now. So you can see, this is a very simple, but very realistic way to prioritize your, uh, your work. And then once you prioritize, you can then continue on with, you know, well, okay, I prioritized and I figured out this, what, this is the one thing that those energizes me fine. Then what is the break that down? And what is the length for each part of that project or task? And let's say, I'm going to spend five minutes on this, 15 minutes on that, 25 minutes on that, et cetera. And then do you have a hat manual? especially if it's something that you're going to be doing ongoingly, like you're going to be doing a particular project again and again, and you would like to have a bit, a bit of a hat manual for the next time you do it. There you go. And then, like I said, you know, leave some time at the end of your hour or end of your 25 minute work period to say, well, when is the next time I'm working on this so that I, I don't feel like I have to keep going until I collapse. <laughs> right. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, let me know if this, uh, if you go ahead and implement this or if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing your feedback about this.